It is Saturday, November 26th, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. And because I was home for the weekend, I now have to return back to Davis for the harsh realities of finals. How to lessen the blow of returning back to Davis, I am going to go with a more creative route. I'm going to go finally explore the entire Central Subway. After some time on Caltrain, after some time on Caltrain, I made it to Fourth and King. This is the start of the Central Subway. However, I'm not getting on the Central Subway here today because the weekend shuttles only start at Fourth and Brandon, and also because I have my bike. So what I'm going to do is bike over to the Salesforce Transit Center and dump my bike in a locker, and then figure it out from there. All right, sleep well. Be back for you in a sec. So I made it to the Transbay Transit Center, and now it's time to find my way over to the Central Subway. Um, I think Union Square is the closest station here, and I get to ride the free shuttle services that are currently being run um, to just explore the Central Subway a little bit more. So after a quick five second consultation with Google Maps, it appears my best strat is to hop on Muni um, down from Montgomery, where I am now, to Powell, which is where I can switch to the Central Subway at the Union Square station. And it looks like today my F Market line is going to be in LA Transit colors. So I made it to Market and Stockton off of the F Market line. And this is the transfer point between the F Market and the Central Subway. So I'm at the Union Square uh, subway station. Gonna go ride the Central Subway to visit each of the four new stations. He did not make the yellow. So after a few minutes, my train made it to the new 4th and Brandon station. 4th and King is just a couple blocks down there, but for now, for the weekend, this is just where the Central Subway is ending. Um, so yeah, now it's time to do my first real impressions of the Central Subway. Uh, it's nice, I guess. 
new trains are always a good thing. Um, yeah, time to go visit the other stations. So, some new impressions of the 4th and Brandon station. It looks an awful lot like every other um, raised platform Muni LRT station. So that's the light rail design, so it looks like pretty much every other stop on the T-Line, which is what the Central Subway is going to be through operated with. So currently, the K and the T-Lines are operated together, in that K-Lines, when they get to Westport, will turn into a T-Line and then go service Sunnydale, and T-Lines, when they service Sunnydale, go through and become the K-Line at Embarcadero, and then go to Balboa Park. Um, once the sub Central Subway is completely open in January, for a weekday service, that'll be stopped, and T-Lines will instead just go from Chinatown directly to Sunnydale. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. One unfortunate thing is that for Caltrain passengers, once the T-Line opens for regular service, Caltrain passengers will have to cross the street and access the T-Line stop um, for Muni to access the Central Subway, which requires crossing two very, very busy streets. Um, I feel like Muni could have done better with this by either putting the station directly in front of the Caltrain station and closing it off to cars, or at the bare minimum, just putting the Muni station directly in front of Caltrain, like, please, for have some connectivity. But no, here we are. Anyway, I'm getting back on the free shuttle, and I'm going to go explore Yerba Buena Moscone Center, the next station. Yerba Buena Moscone Center station. Very fancy, very bright underground island platform station. Um, yeah, this is just one of the middle stations on the Central Subway. Uh, I guess I'll go explore it and see if there's anything noteworthy. The subway has been open for a week. It took one week, and it's only open on Saturdays and Sundays. So they just have like a regular plasma TV here before they fill out the display boards. There's a bunch of historic pictures of things being constructed. That's cool. It's elevator time. So, some thoughts on the Yerba Buena Moscone Center Station. Um, I used to, uh, my mom would take me from from uh, Caltrain to the Moscone Center before, when I was a kid, and the Central Subway didn't exist. So, it would have been pretty convenient if there was a subway directly from uh, Caltrain to the Moscone Center. But now future kids who want to go from Caltrain to Yerba Buena Moscone can take the train. So I think that's kind of cool. Now back onto the train towards Chinatown. There's cool rocks above the fair gates.
Chinatown and since I'm in Chinatown the best thing to do is to go get some dim sum so some thoughts on the central subway Chinatown station um, very deep very very a little bit overbuilt just just a tad um, but it's right in the heart of Chinatown and I love that so yeah uh -huh. So, dim sum acquired. Shout out to Yummy Dim Sum for always having the cheapest dim sum in no line. Um, it's back onto the Central Subway. I want to check out the rooftop perk that's on top of the train station. And then I'm going to head back towards the Salesforce Center so I can grab my bike and head to the East Bay to catch my Amtrak back to Davis. This right here is some peak SF. Bathrooms on top of the Muni station, but only for special events. Wow, where am I going today? Um... You get to look at the live train tracker on, at the station. That's cool. subway now I'm back where I started at Union Square and it's time to head back towards the Salesforce Center. Probably gonna catch the F to what was that street called? Montgomery again. Yeah, Central Subway's cool. Hopefully I can incorporate it into my future adventures when it goes into full service. And yeah, back towards Davis. Montgomery. Now it's time to just walk a short bit to the Salesforce Center, Transbay Terminal, whatever you want to call it, and get on the AC Transit Route F. Um, that's going to take me to Emeryville. Yeah, probably Emeryville. Maybe Berkeley. We'll see. I'm feeling spicy. I'll go to Berkeley, but more likely than not, I'm going to Emeryville. So I made it to the Salesforce bus deck with five minutes to spare before my bus leaves. The only problem is which bay does it leave from? This is fun. Oh, that's cool. All the way at the end, Bay 32. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, there's my bus. It's got my bike all in the front. Risky. 
Kennedy Avenue and Powell Street. I got let off of the Route F here in Emeryville, and now it's time to see if I can race over to the Amtrak station to make the next Capital Corridor train back to Davis. Over there, that's an articulated Van Wool. Very rarely do you get to actually see those in service. Made it to the Emeryville Amtrak. Time to get down the overpass. about half of a transit adventure, here I am back in Davis. That was the longest Capitol Corridor set I've ever seen at seven cars um, for the Thanksgiving rush. Yeah, uh, good adventure. Saw new trains. New trains are cool. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time. Bye.